Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is the 12th lecture of the Scrap Theory series part 1. And in this lecture, we are going to study about uh, articulation points or cut vertices and the relation of uh, articulation points with bridges. Since we have studied bridges in the previous lecture, so we have knowledge about that and how to calculate bridges. So the definition of articulation point is an articulation point or cut vertex uh, cut vertex is a vertex which when removed makes the graph disconnected or more precisely it increases the number of connected component if you see the definition of a, uh, cut edges and cut vertices matches at certain level uh, bridges have the same definition as when you remove the bridges the graph gets disconnected or uh, the number of connected component increases in the graph same is true for articulation point uh, when you remove an articulation point when you remove a vertex from a graph you also remove all of the incident edges all of the edges that, that are incident on that node so when you remove an edge uh, when you remove a vertex sorry uh, and if the graph gets disconnected or the number of connected components increase then the cut vertex uh, then the vertex is known as cut vertex or articulation point in the current graph you can see there are two nodes which are marked red these two nodes are articulation points if you remove any of the uh, ver uh, vertices marked as red then uh, the graph would get disconnected for example, if I remove the first red node, the uh, this red node, then all of the edges, all of these three edges would also get removed. In that case, we would have two different connected components. First one is this and the second one is this. So we see the total number of connected components have increased. So uh, this node is actually a cut vertex or articulation point. Same goes for this. now we would study the relation between articulation points and the bridges for this graph how many bridges are there if we look closely we know that there are two bridges and those two bridges are these two which are marked as red if you remove any of the bridges then the graph would get disconnected now for the same graph what are the articulation points if you see these are the articulation points which are marked as red now can you uh, define or, or can you see any relation between articulation points and bridges well uh, there is one relation uh, one observation we can make and that is an end point of a bridge is actually an articulation point as you can see these two are endpoints of this bridge and these two are ends of this bridge so is it true that any endpoint of a bridge is articulation point if this is true then we can use the same algorithm that we use to find bridges using that same algorithm whenever we find a bridge what we can do we can insert both of the end point into a set so that we have unique uh, vertices which are actually cut vertices before answering the question whether uh, end points of a bridge are uh, cut vertices let's answer another question why these nodes the end point of of these bridges are actually cut vertices the reason is see when we know when this is a bridge that means if you remove this edge the graph would get disconnected and these two endpoints when you remove any of the vertices what would happen when you remove sorry just a second so when you remove this vert uh, vertex or this vertex what would happen uh, if you remove this vertex 
all of the edges which are connected to this node would get deleted and we know if this edge gets deleted the graph gets disconnected and when the graph gets disconnected uh, the uh, the the vertex which was removed is known as is will be called cut vertex so when you remove this uh, vertex this uh, this edge will, uh, will get removed and when this edge will get removed the graph becomes disconnected and hence that is why this vertex or the end point of a bridge is actually a cut vertex so that is the reason why the end point of a bridge is actually a cut vertex because when you remove that node the bridge also gets removed and we know when we remove a bridge the graph gets disconnected that means this vertex acts as a uh, cut vertex but again now on the same question is it always true that the all the endpoints of a bridge are cut vertex for that let's see another example let's see this weird looking graph uh, in this graph what are the bridges we see the edge marked red is actually a bridge and what are the articulation points of this graph if you see the articulation point is only this node not this so this proof this is enough to say that not all the uh, endpoints of a of a bridge are articulation points now see why this is not an articulation point see when you remove this node the graph is still connected see even though this edge has removed when we only remove this edge what happens we get two uh, uh, two connected component one was this and one was this but at this uh, in this case what is happening when you remove this vertex you are removing this edge but also removing this vertex so the graph is still connected so okay we can improve our uh, observation uh, and the new observation would be for uh, a bridge its endpoint whatever endpoint is having degree more than one is actually an articulation point and that is very true uh, this node was having a degree one so when you remove this node only there would be one disconnected component one means the only connected component but for this node the degree is more than one so what would happen when you remove this node uh, this and this there would be two disconnected components so that is why uh, this node is still the articulation point so whenever you find a bridge you have to look for its degree of, of the endpoints if the degree is one then of course that node cannot be a uh, articulation point otherwise the node is articulation point but are the only nodes which are connected to uh, bridges are those the only nodes which are uh, cut vertices well uh, it turns out that the cut vertex can exist without the existence of bridges for example this graph if you see there are no bridges in this graph but still there exists an articulation point see so the observation that we have made have led us to this conclusion so whenever you find a bridge whenever we see a bridge the end of end points of the bridge can or may or may not be articulation points depending upon the fact that whether the degree is greater than or equal to 2 or not if the degree is at least 2 then the end point uh, whatever end point is having degree at least 2 that point is articulation point second it is not necessary for the articulation point to be an end of a bridge as we have seen in just previous example so finding algorithm for bridges actually cannot be used to find the algorithm uh, to find articulation point this was important to explain before going to uh, 
uh, explain the algorithm for finding articulation point the reason is that there is a lot of similarity between uh, between articulation point and uh, bridges so that is why it was important for me to explain what is the actual difference and what are the uh, at what extent does there is relation between the cut vertices and cut edges so this was all for this lecture in the next lecture uh, we will study how actually we can use an algorithm as we have seen previously using the dfs tree we would use the same algorithm and will uh, slightly uh, modify that algorithm to find articulation points so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you